Hey everybody, uh, so here comes another capacity test. Today I'm going to test these EVE 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells. So these are lithium iron phosphate, each cell has 280 amp hours, they're in series, so this is a 12 volt battery, and I'm going to test the capacity. So we're going to see if we're going to get 280 amp hours out of these, okay? I've got the same Dolly BMS 50 amp that I've been hooked up before, the same little one kilowatt uh, inverter, and we'll be monitoring the capacity with this. So this is the start, we're at 13.9 volts, uh, might be a little higher. All of these were measured at about 3.5 volts, so just about at the very top of uh, their capacity. They can go up to 3.65, but then they usually settle down to around 3.5. So they're top balanced at 3.5. I've set this to 290 amp hours. Hopefully we get can drain this all the way down to 10, and that'll tell us that we have a total of 280 amp hours in this. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna start the test now. Um, also, I've got a video on this little thing if you're interested in it. So yeah, I'm gonna start the test now. Let's get started. Okay, we're pulling one amp. I'm gonna hook some stuff up to this, but again, I'm gonna do a slow draw, probably between five and 10 amps. So this could take a little while to totally drain. I'll check back in probably in a day or so, and then uh, we'll see how this goes, okay? Hey, so here we are about halfway through the test. Um, we're at 140, so we've gone to, we've earned 152 amp hours. Uh, again, it's a pretty slow, slow capacity test, but things are going really well. Uh, voltages dipped from about 13 to 2, 13.2 to 12.9, but uh, we still have uh, plenty of voltage to go. So we're in a great shape, we're in great shape. Okay, so it looks like our, text, uh, our test has concluded. Uh, you can see that we have, if you look carefully, uh, we've got about uh, four amp hours left. So it looks like we have two, over 280 amp hours in these cells. Uh, which is pretty fantastic. It's taken uh, about over three days to um, to get through this test, so definitely not fast. Hasn't been a fast draw. Um, but yeah, these pass with flying colors, no expansion, no, no heat or anything like that. Doing absolutely great. So these EVE cells have worked out really well. They definitely have the capacity. Um, I was a little worried about this capacity meter because it says there's over 280 amps uh, right at this point. It looks like there's 296 at least, and the voltage still seems pretty high, but... Um, you know, if you look at the amps and you compare it with the amp meter here, um, they match pretty well. Uh, I worry that maybe this is a little bit high and this might be a little bit uh, low, but this is pretty accurate and they seem to move together quite a bit. So, um, I'm not too worried that this is off. Uh, even if this is off maybe by a little bit, you know, 5% or something like that, um, you know, this is still testing well over 280. So even if it's off by 5%, these are definitely very close to 280, even if they're a little short, if this is perhaps too high. But again, they're moving in such tandem that I don't worry too much about that. I think they're actually, I think this is actually pretty accurate. Um, yeah, so I'm super pleased with these cells. If this, uh, this test or capacity test was useful for you, please remember to like or subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And post any questions uh, or comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions, so uh, please reach out. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with these 280 amp hour uh, EVE cells. And just a quick look at the top, so you know these are definitely the EVE cells that I've been dealing with. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys.